Today, we will create an awesome function using Microsoft Excel. We will have a form where the user can type his name and his mobile number and do a signature. Then he can, if we accept the signature, we can sign a contract. Then we can save or print this uh, contract. This code you will never find for free over the internet. And if, if you want to pause or close the video and try to do search how to obtain digital signature using access, you will never find this code for free. And actually, it is not the first time I, I encountered a code that's not available over the internet in access Visual Basic for applications. First time was the login many, many years ago. There was no clear description how to create a user login in access database. And Alhamdulillah, I, I, I was the first one who created a login using a DLOCKUP. Then, when I try to send an SMS from Access Database, I never find uh, an explanation over the internet. All the people have the code, keep it secret, and sell the product. And it is the same with this code, with the uh, get uh, digital signature from the user. You will find the code for at least $100. US dollar. Anyway, uh, let's start. I'm going to create an, a new application, a new database. Along with this database, I will uh, get ready with a folder, a location that we will use. So we will use this location, D sign here. We need two form. Form design. This form I'm going to name this one is a signature and another form for the contract or the document that I need to sign. What I need in the details, any all the information I need to get from the user to be put on the contract. Let's say I will get his name and his mobile number. Now, how to get the signature. Uh, actually, the object we use to capture digital uh, mouse signature or digital uh, signature is an ActiveX control name ink picture. So we have to search using the ActiveX for Microsoft ink picture, this one. I will make with it uh, a border, so border style is solid and border color, let's make it black. Okay. I make this form uh, pop up. I will add a button to accept the signature. So this button will accept the signature. The other form, no, I mean this in the contract, no problem. Uh, the other form, I will get the contract here. Let's have a picture from the internet. Okay, so I choose this picture from uh, the internet. So in this form, I'm going to insert a picture. Okay, I just crop the picture and make it a little bit better fitting in the form. Okay, so I need the signature to be displayed here. Uh, I need the name and mobile to be displayed from the form. Okay, uh, so we need one button here to sign. And another button to save the form. So this button is form operation print the current form. Of course, in the form, we don't need the uh, record selector or the navigation button. Okay, not bad. Okay, 
what is the code and how to display the code. What, what, what we need here. Yeah, this one also need to be a pop up. So what we need here is to capture uh, this signature and save it as a picture. Then we need here to add the picture as a signature. So we need one more object here, which is a picture. An image, okay. And keep it blank. And put it here. And I make it invisible. Visible, no. Okay, exactly. So if the user clicks this button, we need to take the signature and save it as a, a picture file. Then we need to upload this picture to the hidden object here in this plate. Okay, let's do it step by step. So this button, event, action. But before that, we need to know what's the name of this image. It is ink picture four. I will name it as user sign. We here we have the user name and the user moment. is to create an object so we will dem with any name let's say object ink as here is the first problem what's the name of the library you are going to use the name of the library is ms ink o2 lab this, this is the library and from this library we are going to take ink picture so what we do now we we, we call the Microsoft library for ink and we take from this library the ink picture and we create an object file to carry this one now now we need to create a binary variable to carry the file because our file will be saved as a, a binary file before converting to GIF image so this variable is a byte and this variable is an array this is why i use the two brackets here because it takes the value from the picture and save it as an array before converting as a file and we need the file to be a, a string because this will be the name and the base for the file so so now we will call a library to save the picture and we convert the picture into byte and we save these bytes into a file. Okay, this file is equal to my location with the name. So, so I need to save my files here. So I will take the bus, control C. With a slash for the name, I will name the file as sign dot gif as is the only accepted format for the ink picture object set my object which is object ink or any name we, we use here to carry what is in my uh, Ink picture, we name it as the user sign. And of course, as an object. My array variable, which is PYT, will take the variable. Uh, the object variable ink dot save to for the GIF. Then we need to open the file 
I name it as file in as binary. And open it using hash one. We, we open the binary file. This hash one, the opening of the uh, binary file, will take all the information in my array variable. Then we have to close the binary, sorry, close. We have to close the connection, hash one. Okay, let's try. Now if I go to the folder, the signature is here. Okay, again. A, H, accept, if you open the sign, it is H. So now the first step is done, actually we have one problem, if the signature is uh, blank, we will get an error, so you have to handle this error, you have to use if statement to make sure that you have data here. Okay, now we have the signature, we need to take the signature to the sign for so this button is supposed to refer to this object which named image4 and put a picture inside it which picture? the picture we have in our folder so if I go to the my folder this picture so I have to copy pass and put it here to code and be sorry we have one more code and because we set image 4 to be uh, invisible I have to display it so image 4 dot visible equal true so let's try so now we have the signature Let's try it together. So this button, we need to open the form too. So after saving the file, do command open for for two. Is it form two? No, it is a sign. So this is my signature. And I'm going to use here to sign. Okay. I hope you know how to use the name on mobile, but let's do it. It will take just a minute. So this is a name on mobile. So I have to copy them. Control C. Use to the other four. Paste. I don't need the caption. I need only the data. So name will be here. And mobile will be here. I just need to make sure this one is name, this one is mobile, so this button, this button will take any data, forms, sign, uh, uh, name, equal me dot name, and forms, Sign mobile equal me dot mobile. Now let's try Ahmed one two three, and here is the signature. Accept contract. I name it as name n. Sorry, so this one is correct. design name in so form is dot sign dot name in equal me dot name in any name to be different from name
so Ahmed 555 accept yeah we, we forget to draw anything in the end that's what I'm telling you accept sign okay if you don't need this uh, border you can go to both of them and from format border style is transparent and back color is also transparent back style is transparent honey if it seven I have to do signature accept sign okay that's it enjoy uh, this time I'm not going to uh, put the code or the database in the link uh, so you have to do some effort pause the video <laughs> and write the code by your own why to do so just to make a little bit value for the code uh, because uh, as I told you you will never find this code anywhere over the internet and, and you can try to search for the code 